G'day, I'm Dave TTC and this is Dave's Cave. Well, we had a productive day yesterday. It was a long day and I'm feeling pretty shattered, but I have to keep going because one product's not enough. This little spiral thing here, that's just all of these things stacked up on top of each other. Thought it looked a bit decorative. So maybe that'll be how I display them when I'm at the show. Anyway, next project, what are we going to make? Well, I have a prototype here somewhere. All I have to do is find it. Stay tuned. So to keep with our theme of wine, I'll just make one of these little balancing doodads. Wine holder, we'll call it a balancing wine holder. So we will take the glasses. Nothing like balancing wine on a unstable pile of timber. Now my advice to people is that you just move it in and out of the hole till you find the balance point. What I normally do is just give it a little bit of a nudge and see if it likes to sit there and that's the balance point. And so this is what I'm going to make. I want to have it in the shape of a bottle the holes up high enough so that if someone wants to put a label down below it they can they might want to have a message to a loved one or to a family member or something. Uh, something funny, something loving, something sweet. Who knows? That's up to the individual. Uh, it may even be that they get me to customise it for them and laser burn something on there. I'm going to do out of the Merbu, the red wood, or reddish looking wood, reddish brown. There'll be some done in that colour, so that won't take laser burning too well. It's going to be a bit hard to read. I'm also going to do some out of pine, which if you want to write on that with the laser, you'll see it much easier. That's what it goes, doesn't it? Red wine, white wine, red wood, white wood. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, let's get cracking. I've got to make a jig and come up with a method to be able to do this. This is just a rough one. It's got nicks and all sorts of things. Um, I'll probably soften the corners a little bit with the ones that I make shortly. Today I only made nine of these. One missing, must be over there somewhere, or oh, behind me, yep. So I've got seven here, eight, nine, one on the bench over there. Tomorrow I'll get cracking into that. Um, I don't know how many I'll make. I might make 40 of them. And then hopefully I'll do some pine ones as well. Um, I should make some pine wine glass caddies so that I have matching pairs and people can choose if they want red or white, whether they want to use that in harmony with their wine and the colour they're drinking. Hey, maybe I could encourage people to buy two sets. One for red, one for white. Bit of marketing? Oh, there's a thought. Anyway, that's the plan for tomorrow. Uh, didn't get as far as I wanted today, but I had an incredibly late night last night and I was still up early this morning. Um, takes a while to set up the process and work out how you're going to do things. You know, just the simple thing of getting this cut here as quick as possible without having to change too many tools. You, know, you could do it with a jigsaw, you could do it with a bandsaw. If there's a way to do it with a circular saw, that's much quicker. And then this wood is really hard. Like it is really hard. Doing the pine will be a walk in the park. Um, so giving consideration to like 
your route of direction and things like that, all of that has to come into play in your design. The little things like rounding over the end before you cut it so that if you do get split out well, it's going to be in the bit that's cut off. Uh, they're things to consider. So tomorrow, I've done the running around. I went to the hardware today, got some more supplies, went to the shop, got some other supplies, made the jig for this or the template, worked out the process, got a record of it on the iPad. Tomorrow I'll make some more of these. I may make some of the caddies for the wine glasses. I'm going to decide what else I'm going to make. I'm running out of time and essentially even if I have red and white wood, it's still only two products. So I do need more variety. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please encourage others to have a look. I'd really, more than anything, I'd love to just be a YouTube creator. You know, do this sort of stuff as well. You know, like, you know, do the market, sell stuff, give some lessons. I want to be able to work from home. I want to be able to look after my kids, enjoy the time with my kids. I've had enough of going on the building sites and doing all of that sort of thing. So if you're able to help me, hopefully I can do something to help you. I can show you a few tips and tricks, uh, ways to streamline things. And if you want to do something like this, if you want to be able to make stuff to sell, you better get some ideas on production, how to do things, streamline it and get it happening quicker. Thanks again. See you tomorrow.